With the recent upsurge in public meetings as the Federation awaits the call for the 2020 elections, law enforcement agencies are doing their part to sensitize the public on the penalties and other prohibited behavior under the Public Order and Public Meetings and Processions Act. On Thursday's episode of Policing with You, Inspector James Francis, along with officers of the Special Services Unit, discussed the acts and how persons can avoid committing offenses under these laws. Sergeant Tracy Marisho said that organizing unauthorized matches or public meetings is one of the offenses under the Public Order Act. Okay. Now, first of all, organizing unlawful matches. Let me say it's unlawful because you didn't have any permission from the Commissioner of Police. Any person who attempts to organize an, an unlawful match incites or rather encourages persons to be a part of that match, they are committing an offense under the Public Order Act. Sergeant Marshall said the penalties for organizing unlawful matches consist of fines and or imprisonment. The, the penalties for these offenses, they usually have um, a fine of up to 25 hundred dollars or imprisonment for up to a year or it can be both. She also explained that persons who engage in disorderly conduct at authorized public meetings commit an offense. Persons would be there trying to um, behave in a disorderly manner mm -hmm. with intention to obstruct or disturb the proper running of the meeting they are committing an offense. Okay. Okay? It's, a, it's a public meeting you come, you want to hear your views, but you have to do so in an orderly manner. Mm -hmm. Sergeant Marshall said that these laws were put in place to help law enforcement personnel police these events and maintain order. Policing with you airs every Thursday at 9.15 a.m. on ZIZ Radio 96.1 FM during the morning show.